Hey yo, hey yo, what up all you true hardcore MMA fans out there? This is Longtime Fan, aka Soldier Sean, aka Expose on all you gay MMA fake fucks. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, and this is my introduction video as the newest member of Team Takeover, which means I'll be posting videos frequently pushing the agenda for a takeover world order, seeing that there is an imbalance and abundance of retarded sheep out there, aka Zupa Zombies that need to be regulated because they're too preoccupied defending Zufa and the UFC instead of worrying about being real MMA fight fans. Well, fuck that. I'm here to cock slap some sense back into y'all bitches. Let me start off by giving you a brief glimpse into who the fuck I am. I happen to have been a veteran Sherdog forum poster that first registered in 2003 and posted such legendary gems as the UFC, the New World Order and the demise of MMA, and also the UFC, the Fertitas and the Corrupt Athletic Commissions. Each got tens of thousands of hits and ended up putting a target on my back just like a public enemy for these fake ass UFC fans and biased UFC mods to aim their keyboards at. The fact that I hardly even posted except to start threads questioning the shady business practices of Zufa finally got me banned from Sherdog this year. Well, fuck that. When you have overzealous, pro-UFC biased moderators with god complexes plus a bunch of Zufa zombies reporting your every fucking post, you can expect to eventually get banned from that shithole. You don't have to look any further than the, the Sherdog pound for pound rankings the articles written by its incompetent staff like Jake Rawson and Thomas Rios, and the statements emitted by Sherdog Radio Network buffoons like Greg Savage, TJ DeSantis, and their other fellow fat fucks on their podcasts to realize how deep in bed they are with Zufa already. After getting banned for no good reason, I emailed beached whale Jeff Sherwood and asked him how I could get banned for comparing Dana White to Obama and I didn't. I never even fucking received a reply from that fat fuck. Meanwhile, you got some of the most retarded, inbred, trailer trash rednecks posting false, spun, defamatory, derogatory news against anything not named UFC, fighter bashing, making shoot threads that make fun of the same fighters I support with my fucking hard-earned cash. And last but not least, appointing posters with a history of pro-UFC bias to moderator status. What the fuck is this? Get your fucking game up, sure, dog. You're supposed to be real MMA journalists and MMA purists. Instead, you cater to the lowest common denominator. Those fucking sheep that turned MMA from a real sport with honor, integrity, and the Bushido way of life into fucking cage fighting, man. Are you proud of yourselves? I know SureDog was a big part of helping keep MMA alive when it went underground in the dark ages, but now it's clear that y'all sold out, man. It's been a slow process that started with Josh Gross's departure to recently, and on multiple occasions, I might add, sucking Zufa's dick to get your credential passes back from your Lord Dana. You fucking make me sick, man. I understand that it's a business decision and that you stand to gain more financially by catering to these blind American UFC sheep. But at what point does it justify selling out your morals and values? And I'm looking at you, Jeff, and stop defending the integrity of the sport to become just a capitalist, just as capitalistic minded as Zufa and give a middle finger to all those loyal hardcore fans that stood by you and stuck with sure Dog and MMA through the dark ages and supported it. Man, you fucking guys are sellouts, man, to the fucking 10th degree, man. And on a final note before I'm out, I just want to extend an invitation to all you real hardcore MMA fans out there that are still lurking at sure Dog. Just fucking Google Team Takeover forums and get your ass over for some real fucking discussion, man. Props and shoutouts to fellow New Yorkers Bloodstained Lane, American Creep, and Team Takeover. Man, it shouldn't come as a surprise that it's niggas from New York that are pulling out your card, seeing that more of more than half of New Yorkers believe that it was the U.S. government that knew in advance about the 9-11 attacks. The rest of Americans are still probably living in a fucking bubble and thinks that the government and also Zufa and sure Dog are telling them the truth. Well, fucking do the due diligence, motherfuckers. Go out there and fucking search the truth, man. Sometimes it's deeper than fucking face value, man. Don't take things at face value. Fucking do the research. Go back. Watch old MMA vids, man. 
go back and check out the library of the golden age of pride, man, because that's what MMA was really about, man. It was about honor, integrity, upholding the code of the, of the samurai, man, the Bushido, Bushido way of life, motherfuckers. It ain't about fucking new rock metal and fucking... Fucking hyping up fights with fake hype, man. It ain't about that, man. Let's keep MMA real, man. As real as it gets, fuck you, Zufa. You're fucking, you're giving fucking title shots away to fake wrestling, pro wrestling champs, man. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. I'm out, man. Long time fan, aka Soldier Sean, man. You'll be seeing a lot more of me in the future, motherfuckers. I'm here, I'm a soldier, and I'm a soldier for MMA all day. Fuck you fat suburban white bitches, man, that fucking don't even fucking train, that have a fucking opinion and like to write bullshit in the forums, motherfucker. Get your fucking ass in a gi or in fucking, in a fucking rash guard and fucking bang it out, motherfucker. Submit somebody before you fucking submit a fucking stupid response to one of my fucking legendary threats or to fucking Bloodstained Lane's fucking videos, alright, my niggas? Peace.